today I bought another one of these Black Series C3PO's from the Entertainer for £3.75 so I thought I'd do a comparison with other C3PO's I have. This is my one from childhood, it's the removable limbs Kenner Vintage C3PO. This is the Last Jedi Basic 3.75 C3PO and this is the Force Awakens that came in the two pack. So it's nice to see all these figures together. And yeah, they're great. I mean, this one looks great, even though it's only a 5 PRA figure. Just amazing sculpting there. It's really cool. Here's the Black Series C3PO. It's the one I bought yesterday at the Entertainer. It's an amazing figure, this. Feature packed. Great card. This is updated vintage collection figure that came out in 2010. It's got removable panels, three here and one on the back. Amazing figure. This is the European £3.75 in the Entertainer Absolute Bargain. So that's the Black Series. Number 16. Great figure this. These are the panels you can remove from the Black Series number 16 C3PO. It's got removable faceplate, back panel, chest piece, and leg panel there. And here's the figure with all the parts removed. There's a lot of sculpting detail there. Brilliant figure. It's got the little silver bottom leg. So that was ad updated on the vintage collection. There's the back of the what you can see in the when you move that panel from his back. Lovely detail there. So you've got a lot to this figure. It's a really great figure. Brilliant. When you put the figure back together, you've got to be careful with this piece here just to make sure it clips in. Otherwise, there's little gaps there. I've got it in correctly. The head's quite loose. It easily pops off, so you've got to watch that. But the head looks great with those eyes. There's no ball joint. It just turns, swivels. The figure's got quite a lot of articulation. I mean, about the worst panel is this one because it doesn't quite fit flush on this side of the leg. It fits flush on the inside. But it won't go perfectly flush on that side. But this piece fits in really tight. But, I mean, you can tell it's a great figure. Look at all the sculpting detail. It's a bit small figure, but it looks great. In terms of articulation, he's got a swivel shoulder, elbows that bend and rotate in and out, rotating hands, head that twists, same with that arm. He's got quite a nice ab abdomen crunch, goes that far forward, this far back, legs that kick forward and back, got knees that bend back and forth that far back, this far forward, and ankles that just moved slightly, just hardly at all really. So for this sort of figure it's got quite good articulation. The figure stands with no problems, looks great. So that's the Black Series number 16 C3PO. Figure's almost nine inches tall. It's still quite small compared to other C3PO's. But looks pretty cool. It's the 3.75 Black Series C3PO number 16 with the six inch Black Series Force Awakens version. So he's got the red arm there. It's a great figure this. You 
can see his gold's a much lighter colour. There's been other releases of C3PO in the Black Series, but this is the only one I have, so this is going to have to do. You can see you can get more detail on this figure than on this version. They look great together. This has no removable panels, it's just a great sculpt. Great together. Let's get them behind. Look great together. Very nice. Is the Black Series compared with the Force Awakens two pack CFPO? So what you lose in uh, articulation, you probably gain in sculpt. You can see that the wires are arranged more left to right on this figure, whereas on this version, the original trilogy did go more up and down. You see there's quite a significant size difference in height. But they look great together. the Force Awakens version which was updated for the um, what's it called it Last Jedi and sold on a single card they look great together from behind great together. Okay, this is the Force Awakened C3PO. Oh my. And this has the Force Link feature, first oh version. So I can talk a little oh bit. See if I can get it going again. Doesn't want to work. Oh well. So it's got the talking voice feature. So this is just an updated version of the previous C3PO but with a lighter gold paint, all gold now. Looks great. So they look really good together. I like the lighter gold colour, I think it's more screen accurate. This is more of a greenish gold, almost bronze hue to it. Look great together though. So, excellent. Nice comparison there, I think. So, Force Awakens and. I mean The Last Jedi and The Black Series. They're great together. To comparison with my childhood C3PO and The Black Series number 16. Just to show you how far things have come. So this was dated from about 81. And this one is... First came out in 2010. So this sculpt in the vintage collection. Because there's a massive height difference. But this is vac metalized. It's a 5 PRA figure, the limbs are removable. So that's the C3PO we had when back in the 70s and 80s. Good, nice comparison there. Great figure this. So you can just pop the limbs out. I mean both of these figures have plenty of gimmicks. So the C3PO's got removable limbs. 
a Hong Kong figure. And there's the Black Series, number 16. Final look at these C3POs. In, I've got them in order. So this came out in the 80s, 2010, 2015, and 2017, maybe? 18, 2017, 18. Yeah, 2017. So it's nice to see. These C3POs. So, would we say the Black Series vintage collection C3PO is the, still the best? Probably is still, really. I mean, it's great. It's feature packed figure, it's pretty well articulated. Just looks really great. And this one here is a really good figure. I mean, if you can pick him up for a couple of quid, it's just a great figure to put on display. Looks really nice. Nice paint job on this figure. It's an improved version of the Force Awakens version. Let's move these across a bit. So they look great together. You can see that he's got updated wiring compared to this version. So they look great together. I mean, it's the same sculpt more or less, just slightly updated. And then there's the Black Series. He looks great. And then the original vintage figure. With this, I hear that the Noku version is the rarest version. Rarer than the Lede even. So... It's quite interesting for the lights of action figure grader. They look great together, these C3POs. Really nice. So, yeah, I mean, if you can pick this up at the Entertainer for £3.75, I'd suggest you do. It's such a cool figure. And if you can pick this one up cheap as well. I'm sure there's, they've got loads of these at the Entertainer still, maybe, or Home Bargains. Then you know, definitely worth picking that C3PO up, yeah? Okay, so that's my C3PO Black Series 16 video. And it's time to end this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.